इश्क को लोग मार देते हैं All right my honeys my lads y'all know who it is It's your boy And today we going to bust some ass ladies and gentlemen for those of you who have had the unfortunate experience of watching this series before, y'all know what to expect. But to you young bloods out here who are eh, a little green, a little too squeaky clean, we bout to dirty you up. This is a series where I rant about the things that uh, kind of upset me, kind of hurt my feelings. You know, I'm I'm a pretty sensitive guy, and you know I feel that. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. Let's get right into it. Mother Three, y'all know the game. Very sad, very heart wrenching game. It's filled with twists and turns, beautiful set pieces, and character development. And oh shit, do I love me some fine ass character development. But you know what else this game has? This game not only has one of the biggest hosses in the Mother series, but it also has one of the biggest dickweeds too. Get this shit out of my face! Facade is one of the many reoccurring enemies you'll face throughout your adventures in Mother 3. He's one of the top commanders of the Pig Mask Army, and to my utter freaking bewilderment, one of the Magipsies. You know, I give this guy a good old whip in the ass for ditching the good guys in favor of the bad guys, but... Uh, I don't like it. But alright, enough of this pussy ass background bullshit. We've got some blasting to do! Our first real introduction to this tool takes place in the beginning of Chapter 3. We've got our boy, our hero, our fellow lad, Salsa here, in captivity by the Pig Mask Army. And with our little monkey friend comes Facade with buzzer in hand. What does this buzzer do, B-Squared? <laughs> Whoa. Hey man, where, where have you been? Well, my wife and I just finished a brutal divorce. She took the house, the children, nearly all of my possessions. And for the past few months, I've been trying to make ends meet, working three jobs, and all the while dealing with my new cynical outlook on life. Oh, dude, I, I'm i so sorry. The alcohol numbs the sadness, but it never lasts. Jesus, dude, I, I don't know what to say. I have had many sleepless nights, be square. I bet. Hey, man, how about you just, you know, chill at my place for a night or two? You know, I can I can probably spare the space for a couple days. Excellent. I'll grab my things. Whoa there, cowboy. I'm only talking a day or two here. <laughs> and there he goes. Okay, uh, where was I again? Facade's buzzer thing. All right, thanks, man. So Facade's got this little button on him at all times. What does it do, b uh, I'm getting to that, pal. Thank you. No problem! This buzzer is connected to Salsa's collar, and whenever he sees fit, Facade can give Salsa a little shock. And by little shock, I mean a fucking. Look, it's one thing to produce a massive lightning cannon that Zeus's people's homes. They had it coming. Wish it would've hit you, Wes, you fucking cockshiner. But you're not only gonna zap my boy, but force him to dance for your own amusement? Nuh-uh. That's where we cross the line. About to dance! Whoa! Oh! Oh, damn. Wow. That's an L right there. Major L. So, uh, I guess that's it. S see you later, everybody. Wait, what the hell is that? It sounds like... Horns? Ah, shit. So in a sick twist of fate, Facade makes a return later in Chapter 7, under the moniker of New Facade. Seems like he busted his ass pretty hard on his fall from grace, and now he's accompanied with his very own translator and sporting some mouth horns. Lovely. As he continues to diss you in horn speak, we find ourselves face to face with the fallen Majipsy. All right, you busted up banana loving bitch fucking cunt fucker. Let's do this. Ah! How tough is this dude? Jeez. Ah! God, facade is a pain in my ass. Okay, on some real shit here, this dude is an animal. He can bum rush one party member at a time, hit three at once with some of today's generic pop music, go full on Bomberman on your ass, shit out a dazzling light that can one hit kill a party member, and on top of that, he's got a shield and some bananas that heal up to 600 HP. How the hell does he even get these things in his system? Does he shove it up his horns or up his- But worst of all, he'll smile at you. Ooh, that makes me mad. Cocky some bitch, how you like this? Yeah! What now, huh? What's good? Pull up! I'ma make you pay for this. Yeah, piss off, you banana-craving horny man. So that's it. That's the last we see of him. 
That's the last we see of good old Facade. There's no way he's coming back. Not a chance. Nope. Oh, wait, he does. Ugh, kill me now. I don't even know what to say here. What's the point, dude? Is revenge really the only thing you're after? Because there is so much more to life than this petty drama. Go somewhere nice. Meet a sweet girl. Get her to rub your horns or something. Literally anything other than this. This thing's a two-phase fight, but f*** it, I don't care. Once you get his health down to a certain point, he strokes out and loses some of his horns. His heart is filled with hatred. Yeah, buddy, that makes two of us. At this point, he can use a ton of different PSI attacks, but honestly, you guys, I am just so damn tired of this guy, I don't even care. Boom! Bam! Pow! Skadoosh! Zip! Bop! Wham! We're done here. Fuck you.